Is it morning already? <laughs> All right, I am going to try to tame this. I hope this works because it was acting up like four days ago. <laughs> Last time I tried to use it, it scared me, so I didn't use it. Well, let's see what happens. I was afraid of it burning my hair. Yay! Hello, so um, I'm going to organize my candy. If you didn't see my previous vlog, I went to the grocery store called Winco and I bought a little bit of different types of Halloween candy and I'm going to be having one piece of candy every day during October. Kind of like an October advent calendar. <laughs> a Halloween advent calendar. <laughs> I should have made an actual one, that'd be funny, but I just have this little takeout container from a previous meal, and I'm going to put my candy in here. So I have my pillow to hold it up so you can see, <laughs> and if you didn't see the previous vlog, I will link it down below so you can go check it out. Alright, so first is gummy spiders. They're so cute. They're these little tiny spiders with six legs. They're just so cute. All right, next is body parts. Oh, creepy. Then I have some autumn mix candy corn. Ah! I guess I bought too much candy corn. It's all of it's not really fitting in there. Then my monster faces and stuff. I just bought way too much candy. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna save like half of it for Halloween day and I'm just gonna fit in here what I can and what I'm gonna eat over the next 30 days. <laughs> smaller than it should be. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Alright, here's the candy. I cannot fit these in here for sure. And for some of these candies, like the Abba Zabba and the Sour Patch Straws, I'm going to be cutting them into smaller pieces for my son and me to share. So that's going to be good. And then I have these little pieces of candy corn that are broken <laughs> and <clears throat> misshapen. So um, I'm going to eat those right now because I'm the kind of person who like, if I see a broken chip or a broken cracker in the 
package in the bag. I will go for that next or first. <laughs> I will eat the broken ones because I sympathize. <laughs> I don't know. And this is all the leftover candy that I couldn't fit in there. I bought way too much. <laughs> but at least we have more candy. You know, late night cravings and um, Halloween. And one more thing, I have all of these empty bags. One thing I love about Winco is that they have recycling bins for plastic bags. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So I'm gonna take these to work today and put them in the recycling bin. Guys, sometimes therapy is really hard. <laughs> Do you see the tears? <sighs> sweats when they cry. <laughs> I'm stinky human now. I need to go clean up and get dressed for the day, which my outfit of the day is going to be for work because I work in three hours. Yay! I know my work schedule for next week, so I'm gonna write it in my handy dandy planner. Hello. So I am ready for work, mostly. <laughs> and um, I need a little bit of biofreeze on my shoulders because they were hurting all day yesterday at work and they're hurting a little bit right now. And um, I am not yet sponsored by biofreeze, but uh, if you want to sponsor me, please. All right, because this is a roll on and I already have my shirt on, I'm gonna put a bunch on my hand and then reach in and rub it all over my shoulder. <laughs> so, I don't really want to be naked. Thank you, I want to be clothed, but still do what I need to do. Good. I'm hungry. It is 10:37. It's only been about what three hours since I ate, but I'm hungry. I need food. So coffee and a cookie. I changed my mind. I want coffee and um, eggs on toast. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I do that. all-purpose seasoning which is literally a secret recipe because this is the recipe from my previous job where I worked um, as a cook in a kitchen and um, this is the only recipe that I officially took in my head <laughs> I mean I wrote down the ingredients and the proportions and then I made it but um, I'm not selling it I'm not gonna give you the recipe I'm gonna honor that it's their recipe but um, I love it so much all right let's make the toast all right so i'm gonna do butter grape jam and sriracha and that might sound like a really really weird combination but let me tell you jam and sriracha or you can use cholula or to T -t tapatio, tapatio, this blend, and you can use any jam. I use strawberry or raspberry or grape. You can use any jam. It is amazing. That sweet and the spicy, mm, so good. Okay, I'm gonna do some butter. Then I have my over hard eggs. And I plop it right there. Ooh, yeah. 
This is absolute perfection. I'm so excited. Here we are, ready to eat. Look at this gorgeous, delicious egg on toast. I seriously eat it multiple times a week. I love it so much. It is time for a Halloween candy. I know I already ate those broken pieces of candy corn earlier, but it is time for more. <laughs> so um, that autumn mix has the little pumpkin, the regular candy corn, and the brown candy corn. And I'm curious what um, the brown candy corn tastes like versus the regular candy corn, or if it tastes the same. So regular candy corn. Tastes like candy corn. Brown candy corn. I think it's the same. I think it might be a little bit chocolatey. You know that fake chocolate flavor? I think it has that. I need to figure out what I want to pack for lunch for um, my break at work. I'm going to bring the ingredients for a little pizza quesadilla, cheese, pepperoni, and corn tortilla. And then I have some beans that I made in a previous video. I will link that below. And then I'm gonna add some corn to the beans. And uh, add some ketchup on the side for my dilla dilla. So. Here's my little assembly. Hmm, I think I need a snack too. Oh, I need my ketchup. Time to do my hair for work. So I'm on my way to work and I was just checking my bun and um, I ended up redoing it. Just just the bun part, not the whole hairdo. But um, I was thinking about the fact that I had to redo that even though it was fine. And then thinking about my therapy session this morning too. Um, I'm like, yeah, I, I am a perfectionist. <laughs> like I. I try not to be too much of a perfectionist every every day all the time because it's exhausting and it's not healthy like it's okay to like cleanliness and organization and stuff that's okay right but perfectionism is exhausting and hard and it can actually damage relationships <laughs> and damage oneself and so I was just thinking about how it's hard for me to be in any type of relationship with someone who tends to be a perfectionist also um, because I hate the part of me that is perfectionist and I also hate the part of me that's a slob, <laughs> a messy person, right? Like I hate both parts of me and I just had the realization going back to past personal work I've, been, I've done. I need to learn to love both of those parts of me, the perfectionist and the slob, so that I can move on, <laughs> you know, so that I can accept myself, love myself, and move on, and find a balance. <sighs> yeah, there's a deep thought for the day. I'm going to keep driving and make it safely to work, and uh, bye. my heck I'm tired I'm gonna go home eat a bowl of cereal go to bed <laughs> hello 
Hello, thank you for watching this video. I am exhausted. It is 11 p.m. I'm gonna go to bed now. I will see you tomorrow.